Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. How are you all doing? Hopefully you're ready for uh, this video where we're going to do some crazy stuff. We're going to go absolutely nuts, but, but I got to tell you, it might not be the most fun and it might not be... The most interesting but it is a way to kind of help us make the editor a little more dynamic a little better and you can use this technique in just about any state you want if you want to divide it up further you could even use this in game state and the technique is basically to create a editor mode all right a, a uh, abstract class called editor mode and we're going to use this to create different modes for the editor. And we're going to use this state uh, array that we're already using, that type of technique, for this. All right. So we're going to we're gonna kind of divide it up further. So without further ado, like I say in every goddamn video, we're going to create a little folder here called editor modes. Okay. And in here... I'm going to create a very risky class, which might not work out for us all that well. Um, but we will try editor mode. And this is just going to be a, this is going to be the base class for just about everything. Okay. And I'm just going to create that. And there we go. Boom. Ready to go. And I'm just going to put it into editor modes like that. Okay, and we're just going to keep editor state open. I'm going to close all the tile maps and everything because a few videos we're going to have to work on this. And this is so that eventually we can add different modes to the editor. So we can add enemies, we can add items, we can add chests, um, anything we want basically just to make it a little easier for us. Otherwise, we're going to have really, really large functions in the editor uh, with a bunch of different, you know, uh, switch cases and stuff for different modes and we don't want that we want it to be very dynamic although it's going to create a lot more files but that's okay that doesn't really matter files are better than switch cases so i'm just going to do if and what am i doing why don't i just let me just copy paste one of these if and defend shits I just put them right here editor mode h okay feeling good feeling good Editor mode H okay and if God damn it I wish I wish this was automatic and not pragma once uh, and I'm doing this for your guys' sake all right those of you who don't who can't use pragma once use this okay so there we go uh, private boom okay there we go now 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 a very uh, important part of this is going to be to send data back and forth all right and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna kind of do everything in here but we're going to send in state data into into this area here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include well, hold up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to include this into editor state first before I forget. Include editor mode.h. Okay, there we go. Class editor mode. Boom. And. Once that's done, we're going to go back into here and we're just going to go ahead and get ready. So let me see. Uh, we're going to need to send in state data. So to do this, state data, state data. Okay, so uh, I was just thinking and I'm dumb. So what we need to do is we need to include state.h here. And forward declare it class uh, state and then also class state data since we define that in the same 
file. So once you do that, then this should work for you. And you got to put this in the CPP file as well. And just put that right in there. Uh, just like that was already. And we need to kind of create a private variable here. This. Now, if we want private or protected, that's the thing. I think I'm going to go with... Um, you know, I think I'm going to go with this uh, state data pointer state data. And this is very important because we need all the settings and stuff. And then state data, state data. There we go. Once that's set, you have your state data. You can do anything you want with it. All good. All good. So first step, editor mode, we're good to go. Now, I did some trying here before. I, I just I couldn't really figure out how to do it but that should work now just what I did there I'm going to remove this from that now once we get the state modes to work the editor modes most of this is going to disappear so the editor states just going to be a holder for these modes and that will um, yeah there you go uh, that will um, make it very interesting make it very very interesting so once this is done at least. Let's just go ahead and think how we're going to work with this. I'm I'm thinking we're probably going to need most of these things for the mode to work. So why not just copy this and most of this? Pretty sure about that. So to copy that, what I'm going to do is put it in the H file here under functions. Okay. And since this is a, a uh, this is going to be a, uh, what do you call it again abstract class? We're gonna have to put some equal to zeros over here Plus thing so we're gonna have some input We're gonna have We don't need editor input buttons. We're probably gonna have that we're gonna have GUI um, Pause menu nope, we're not gonna have that we're gonna have a regular update render the buttons render the GUI just render everything else this is a good good setup, good startup. Um, pretty all right, pretty all right. Once that's done, once that's done, we gotta think. Maybe we could have render buttons in GUI in one, and then update GUI could also include the buttons. Update input makes sense. We have it's not it's a different type of input. It's from the keyboard, so we're gonna keep that separate and uh, just keep that separated. Very good, very good. All right, all right. And then in the editor state itself, we're going to have to use an enum. Um, enum, edit, editor modes. All right. And we're going to have to say um, default mode, uh, enemy enemy mode i guess uh and then probably whatever we'll get to that we'll just have one default mode and an enemy mode for now and we'll go from there um i'm thinking we're probably gonna fix get a font and a pause menu here cursor text we might keep in the modes the view will be here the buttons, everything, all this stuff we're going to have to move into the modes. The tile map itself is going to be here. Sidebar, all these things are going to go into the modes. So, yeah, I'm probably going to just end the video now. Yeah, should be all right. Well, before I do, before I do, let's just, let's just go ahead and define these. I think that's a good start. Let's just go ahead and define these. Uh, and then we will. Or, you know what? Better yet, better yet, put them equal to zero and just make sure they are required and make them virtual. Okay, everything virtual. Uh, and uh, make sure they are equal to zero. So you require them. Okay, boom. All good, all good, all good. That's exactly what we want. And that is perfect. We don't really need anything else in the mode itself right now. Uh, probably, yeah, I'll just keep it like this. Just make sure it's like a template. And then 
before we end the video again, let's just go ahead and add another class and we call it default mode. All right, default mode, base class edit, editor mode. All right, go ahead and do this. Class editor mode, class state data, gonna need that. Class state, good to go, all right. Now we have another mode. And for this to work, obviously we're gonna have to implement all of these. But to start off, I'm just gonna take this and <clears throat> Put it into the constructor like this and just do editor mode state data. So that's the first step. At least the constructor is going to work now uh, like this and that should be fine. And then we're just going to do the if not define define bullcrap again. Lots of classes in this video. Sorry about that, but we got to do it. We have to do it. Uh, default mode. It should actually be called default editor mode. Okay, yeah, it should probably be called default editor mode. Let's just do this. Uh, and if. And if. Default mode. And it's not that hard. A default editor. Default editor mode just do that boom copy paste all right default editor mode just do that no big deal no big deal right here as well boom 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 no stress no stress default editor mode boom okay and then we're just going to go ahead and rename that first of all i'm going to put it in here like that and we're gonna just rename it default editor mode and rename that default editor mode and open those up and we should have no errors whatsoever right now good all right cool cool and once we when we work with this we're gonna have to include all of these uh, editor modes basically or we could just have editor mode and add them into it I'm not sure how we're gonna do it but we will see um, we might make one header file that has all of those includes and just include that into the editor state and we go from there but we'll discuss that in the next video sorry for the weird slow video lots of new classes lots of new crap I know might not be the most fun video to watch but it's important once we get the system to work we're going to have a lot easier time in, in handling stuff. So basically, all we did was just create these classes with these basic functions. And this is the editor mode is abstract. Remember that equals to zero pure virtual functions and all that. Uh, but there you go. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the support. Check out the description box. Consider joining Discord. Also dropping a like and subscribing. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.